Yo dudes. Right, mountain bike clothing time. This this uh, this one. So we've done the road. Now we're going to do mountain biking. Uh, we've got. We'll start with the top stuff, shall we? Yeah. The 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 really nice quality stuff. So pop. Everyone knows POC, really. Well, everyone knows the uh, the helmets, um, and of course they also do a lot of mountain bike clothing as well. Um, fairly subtle in terms of their design, other than they do sometimes put the massive POC on the thing. But you won't get no crazy fifteen colours on a jersey kind of thing from POC. It's uh, uh, classy, would you would say. So really kind of nice weight, long sleeve, um, long sleeve jersey. They do it in short sleeve versions as well, different colours. Um, and a lot of people will go, oh, it's just a t-shirt. Now, if you were to touch these, this fabric, it's more of a lycra t-shirt, although it's a relaxed cut, it's not going to be super tight on you. Um, but you can feel the quality. Uh, you know, there's no secret really. With, with clothing and things, you pay for what you get. <laughs> um, so you, you know they're not cheap they are 50 60 70 quid for short sleeve or long sleeved um, but there is a, it is a jersey that will wash and wash and wash it will make you feel like super super comfortable especially on the hot days you can wear it through the winter because it's got that quality to it and it will be your favorite jersey or or t-shirt whatever you want that whenever you go out so it's going to be one of those ones that you'll go to the 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 uh the cupboard for for on a sunday ride really so you know yeah pay for what you get on those next you've also got their shorts uh they do two different types of shorts really their baggies again super lightweight adjustable um uh, velcro on the sides uh pockets now this one's a bit more of the xc kind of short so a little bit more lightweight just a couple of pockets on them but again you know stitching's really good four-way stretch on the fabric nice and lightweight um you know there's not much weight to them at all although you can feel that they're still thick enough and solid enough um really nice and again they're not cheap you know you're gonna pay 100 120 quid for a pair of pop shorts um but you know that's what you get when if you want to buy the top scott stuff so um normally we wouldn't really stock many of the scott shorts they've traditionally been quite expensive um and not really standing up against the other stuff but this year loads better so we'll start with the this bright one again really sort of a, a very summer short stretch fabric number of pockets so you've got down the side down the side there nice little clasp system to pull them in so rather than the velcro they've gone for a bit more of a solid clasp um fit wise very good so if you're looking if you're a medium or you're you're a 32 you're going to be a 32 in these uh, and so on upwards um, and uh, nice and bright and they just over 50 quid so you know a bit more certainly a bit more affordable than the the pock stuff there as, um, that we just spoke about then you're kind of going up a little bit to 70 quid this time similar kind of fabric again you know a really sort of lightweight stretchy fabric again pull cord on the side um, and uh, loads of pockets again down the side less zip pockets in this one more of just standard ones the bonus on this one is you also get uh, a chamois pad in there as well which is detachable so uh, it comes with a liner at the same time so that's uh, you know quite popular next level up uh, not too sure on the price of this one so i will just double check but yeah going up to 90 quid now so zips come back um bit more of a higher waistband on there for a bit more comfort super stretchy again again still that lightweight fabric uh, really nice from there a uh, pad in there as well at the same time and then you get that little class cord really rather than the velcro sit, sit, uh, um, velcro attachment to pull it in tight um, and uh, obviously a little bit more of a forgiving color the black so that's quite a nice short there as well one of our best selling um, shorts is this uh, the, uh, the Madison Trail short comes with a pad inside uh, 50 55 quid I think it is two or three colors quite a heavier kind of weight fabric so you know maybe and not like more of an XC a bit more trailish I suppose but also might be suitable for, for a bit of gravel riding and things like that at the same time um, but you know a good sort of entry-level short that ticks the box in terms of uh, 
zips, pockets, uh, loads of little space. It comes with a pad inside. So if you buy in a your first short, you don't want to spend a fortune. Maybe you want to just take a look at the uh, the Madison there. Tops wise, so Muckoff obviously do their own range of clothing, and, and we always thought, oh, you know, Muckoff they make lube and stuff like that. They're going to make a, a very basic kind of jersey, and actually they've done a really good job. Um, you may have seen quite a few of these around, nice and lightweight, but uh, you know enough that you're not going to freeze to death. Um, it's um, nice and subtle on the tops, really. You know, a bit of graphic on the back, but not too much on the front. Uh, blends in really well with probably most outfits that you've got. Price-wise, it's really kind of key. I think just over the, yep, yeah, 45 quid. Um, but the quality's there, really. So you're not going to wash it and it's going to go half size in, in three washes or it's not going to fade really quick. Uh, really nice kind of long sleeve version. Uh, and then the short sleeve versions for those that do want something uh, a little bit airier and a bit more cooler for, for the really hot days. Uh, just slightly cheaper, five quid cheaper if you go for the short sleeve over the long sleeve. Uh, and again, uh, a couple of colours in that, so the grey colour and then a full black colour if you uh, again want to blend in a bit. Um, other options we've also got, so Scott do a, a, a nice kind of really sort of casual looking dry release t-shirt, body mopped at the back, so really thin and, and wicking on the back so you can uh, get rid of that perspiration, that sweat, um, but uh, and then nice and um, uh, light on the front. Um, it's a technical fabric, so it's not just a t-shirt. What do we mean by that is the fact that it, it's not, first of all, it's not a cotton such, so it won't sort of hug you when it gets wet. And also what it will do is it won't soak up and hold the odors. So when you wash it, it won't stink. Um, it will actually come out fresh smelling. A uh, little zip on the bottom there if you want to put your keys or your, your fiver for, to uh, come for a coffee and cake. Um, uh, again, a few little different colors in that. If you want something, again, a little bit more casual. So uh, again, dry release t-shirt there. Little bit of styling on the side there. Um, and um, uh, a few pockets down the top there. So again, maybe going back, a, perhaps a little bit more gravelly like. Casual gravel top. Um, but really nice from that point of view on those. Uh, a couple of t uh, colors in those at the same time. And what are those? Uh, I think about 45 quid, so that's not bad. Uh, I'll show you this one, which we really like. It's a bit more expensive, uh, 60 quid, um, but it's got like a windproofing material on the side, like a stretchy top, um, a proper sort of trail jersey, uh, air vents underneath the bottom, body mapped at the back, um, but a nice bright colour. Perhaps uh, might attract the odd fly or two, <laughs> but it'll be. Um, Kind of nice and uh, it's a little bit different really especially the arms are quite like that um three different fabrics on there as well so that's quite a cool jacket uh, jacket jersey 60 quid uh what else have we got we've got simple t-shirts so if you're looking for just a casual t-shirt uh mounting t-shirts um nice and just simple and again that's this is that dry release fabric so it's not your standard cotton t-shirt uh, it does cost a little bit more, so like 35 quid. Um, but again, it will. you could wear that, you could work out in it, you could wear it as normal, casual, down the pub, um, but and it won't stink like a BO every time you wash it. It will actually come clean and fresh. Uh, and, and one good thing about Scott this year, I haven't mentioned, is they're not putting massive big Scott logos on. So if you're not uh, a Scott biker of such really, you, you know, it's just, um, just some mountains really with a little uh, logo on it. And the, uh, the ferns really do come out and the brambles start to kicking in. Uh, people start going back to long leggings, although it's not great for the summertime because you sweat like crazy. Um, it is something that will keep the, uh, the blood where it's supposed to be. Uh, and we've got a number of these, so these are the Scott pants. Uh, quite light, lightweight. Um, not going to say that you're going to keep super cool in these, but you will uh, certainly keep cooler than, than a lot of others. Um, again, pockets in those, Velcro draw cords, tapered leg, so you you know nice and tight at the bottom of the leg, so you're not going to um, start ripping them on your chain chain or uh, your chain rings or anything like that. So there's some nice ones from Scott. We've also got. The, uh, the flux pant from um, from Madison, similar kind of thing, slightly heavier weight on the fabric, a little bit cheaper on the price, 
uh, ratchet system around the waist uh, to make it nice and tight. Uh, oh, really sold tons and tons of these over the winter, um, and uh, I'm sure, no doubt people are going to start looking out for some like these once the uh, trails get really um, uh, nasty with those brambles. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, certainly, these are the ones that I've been wearing loads, uh, and I've not even worn the logo off the middle yet. It's um, it's stood up to about 15 rides so far, and it's still absolutely perfect there. So that tells me that although the, the price might be 30 odd quid, 32 quid, they're going to really last well. Uh, washing wise, they've come up really well. They haven't shrunk in size or anything like that as well. So. Um, didn't really know much about Fist about two months ago, but you know, really liking the quality now. Uh, anything else to mention? Uh, lightweight jackets, really kind of proper packable jacket there. Um, that if you need to, you can see how small that's going to go. If you do need to kind of really wrap something up and put it in your pocket or in your bag or your pack or whatever like that, that's a nice option. Um, 60 quid, um, camo kind of colour, I suppose. Um, so that's that's quite nice. We've also got the uh, dry um, dryo jacket from Scott. Um, uh, really, kind of a, a nice liner inside, so not a separate liner. So that will really wick that that moisture away from you really well. Big massive hood that you can get over your helmet, and that uh, that, that little elasticated cord, so you can pull it over the front with a little bit of a peak, so you're not dripping in your face all the while. And again, you know, it's not heavy, super light, you know, it'll pack up a bit bigger than the other one, but it will also, but it will go into a pack quite easy um, and, uh, and, and it won't be light, so you won't feel like you're carrying something really heavy. Um, so that's a really nice jacket, lasts for, lasts for a good time as well if you're making that investment. We've still got the big heavyweights in, um, but perhaps they're not kind of the, this time of year so much. Um, and again, you know, the, uh, the Madison equivalent, uh, what's this one called, the Rome. Uh, it is a waterproof jacket, it's taped. Uh, I think that is probably about it for the mountain bike range at the minute. Thank you very much. Ta-ra.